I'm Gemma Houghton and we're here at Ariri Art Studio where I've teamed up with the incredible artist Jungay Ken to go over our 2023 Indigenous Guernsey. So Jungay, we're back here at the studio where we met last year in 2022 um, and where I asked you to collaborate with me in the 2023 Indigenous Port Adelaide Guernsey. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm from the APY lands, but I've been living in Adelaide my whole life, um, specifically this area, Port Adelaide. Um, I've been brought up doing art, like surrounded by art. Recently just started taking it more seriously in the past year, which was around the time that I first met you. So I remember um, last year when we first met here and I was probably two, three weeks into being asked by Braden to do the Indigenous Guernsey for 2023. And I remember just thinking um, before I'd even met you that I wanted to be a female artist with my connection to my grandmother. And um, it was almost, and we've mentioned it before, it was almost like perfect timing that I was here and you were here at that same time. And um, the conversation sort of started where I did um, want to collab with you to, to be the artist for 2023. Um, yeah, so when you had asked me, I knew straight away what I would paint and because I thought it would actually represent really well. Um, I had been given um, a jogurpa from my eldest cousin's sister who gave me the story and so this was the first time I was able to paint it um, and it was about two sisters so I thought uh, the story would go really well. So can you tell me a little bit about the story and how that's shown on the Guernsey? Yep, so I did it in my artistic expression. Um, I was informed by my family certain things that, um, styles that were meant to be in it. It had to have the two circles, which would re represent uh, the two sisters, the older sister and the younger sister. I had to make sure that it had the two digging sticks on the side. They're called wana. Um, that's part of the chukurpa. But I was told I had to do it my way. So this was my interpretation on the story that was given to me and the drawing that was given to me. Um, it's about two sisters. Um, one was in the north and the younger sister was taken down south and the older sister had to go looking for it and bring it back home. And so, you know, the journey, you can see it in here. Um, where the older sister comes down and brings the sister back home. But along the way, she's teaching her about country, um, you know, law, culture. And I thought it would go perfect because it's about sisterhood and, you know, it was for the women's Guernsey. So for me, it just made sense. Yeah, for those people who don't know the term Chugurba, Chugurba is uh, what I don't know what abide by. It's their law and culture, it's our connection to country, um, our song lines, our kinship systems. We have to abide by our stories and song lines and pass them down. And it's really integral as part of our culture. And you told me a bit about uh, the shells um, from your grandmother, um, but can you tell me a bit about why you wanted the shells? The shells are so important and significant to our family. So my grandmother, Clara Coffin, Injibundi from Roeburn, Port Hedland. She <clears throat> collected them uh, just throughout her journey. She's passed away now and I never got to meet her. So, um, you know, but I've always felt connected to her and connected to the land and, and the beach in particular with shells. So my uncle Norm back in Perth still has all of her shells she's collected and um, there's hundreds of them that he has. And I don't have family um, when I moved over to South Australia. And, and so um, to be connected to you in in this and to be connected to the club um, is what it's all about and, and our team coming together. And I think like when you told me about the shells and then how it came from your grandmother, that's when that conversation started where I said, this is my story, this actually comes from my grandmother, which yeah, I thought everything keeps tying together and yeah, I really liked how it came out as well. Yeah, it's incredible. And it's your first Guernsey, my first Guernsey, so um, I'm so proud of it and thank you so much for being involved with it. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs>